The German Shorthaired Pointer and the Hungarian Vizsla are two incredibly similar breeds, and trying to make a selection between the two really comes down to the finest of details. Now, if you are pondering which of these two hunting breeds would be best for you and your home, well, stay tuned as we will compare both to help you select the next perfect canine companion for you. Welcome back to the Femra German Shorthead Pointer Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could ever want to know about the incredible German Shorthead Pointer, then how you can become a high level canine leader that raises perfect pointer companions. So if you're a lifelong German Shorthead Pointer lover, thinking about getting your first one, then I promise you this channel is for you. So start by hitting that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and you'll never miss a future video. So then, let's dive into today's video and we will compare the German Shorthead Pointer and the Vizsla to help you make an informed choice on which one would be the correct breed for you. Now let's start with the appearance of these two breeds as the easy thing to compare before we dive into the more important elements. Now the German Shorthaired Pointer is a model hunting dog with their large floppy hound like ears, they have that dark friendly gaze and used to have their tails traditionally docked, however that practice is now being banned in many parts of the world. They are elegant athletic breed with short coarse hair making up their coat which can come in many colours and patterns. The hallmark is a dark roan body with a solid face and the German can grow up to 25 inches tall and weigh around 80 pounds. Now, the Vizsla shares some similarities in appearance with the German Shorthaired Pointer. The Vizsla is also lean and graceful in its structure, with long, silky ears and a dark, gentle gaze. They have short, stiff coats that come in a reddish rust colour. The Vizsla can grow up to 24 inches tall and weigh up to 60 pounds, making it a little smaller compared to the German Shorthaired Pointer. Hey guys, very quickly, I just wanted to ask, are you following us over on Instagram? If you're not, there's two accounts I would love for you to check out. The first one is our brand account, at Femrir Canine Leaders, where you can see more about our industry leading products that we create. If you're interested in following me personally, that's at I am Will Atherton, where you can see behind the scenes of me working with some of the most extreme behavior cases in the world and what it takes to run these kind of YouTube channels and maybe if you just want to be able to come over and chat with me that's the place for you so there'll be links down in the description box for both of our Instagram pages I'd love for you to come and check them out and hopefully we'll chat over there so then, are there any differences in their exercise requirements? Well, the German Shorthead Pointer will be more demanding of these two breeds. They are highly energetic dogs that need a strenuous amount of activity to really drain all of their energy. In comparison, the Vizsla is also an active breed, though they are just a little less intense. They will need a good 30 to 60 minutes of planned exercise every single day, as well as tons of games, playing, and lots of mental stimulation and obedience work to the point of basically as much as you can give them. And that would be what I would suggest as base level requirements and that much, much more could easily be absorbed by both of these breeds. Now for grooming requirements, both of these breeds are pretty easy. They need to be brushed occasionally if there is no dirtiness to consider from their active outdoor adventures. A firm bristle brush or a rubber mitt will be your go-to tools and as there isn't a lot of hair to work through like breeds with longer hair or dense undercoats, it can be done in relatively short amounts of time. So neither of these breeds have loads in terms of grooming requirements. Now, diving into more of the temperament and social differences of these two breeds and moving forward, we have to go with the assumption that the representative from each breed has been socialized well from a young age, has had good training and it will be assumed that they are of correct temperament and disposition for their breed standards as that will allow us to make an accurate representation. So then, the German Shorthaired Pointer and Vizsla are also alike in temperaments in a lot of ways. They are both active, happy people pleasers. They adore their humans and don't do well on their own for long periods and frequently suffer from separation anxiety if they're left on their own for too long. They need to be included in their family's life to really thrive. The main difference is that the Vizsla is known to be more of a sensitive dog breed. They thrive on positive experience and depend on large amounts of socialization to establish a comfort level within themselves. Now, the German Shorthaired Pointer can be just the tiniest bit more stubborn and independent. When it comes to homes with children, though, both of these breeds would be a lovely choice. They are playful, affectionate, and can be gentle with children. 
though the same can really not be said for other small animals so if you have small animals cats rodent type pets then another breed with much less hunting instincts might be a better choice for you Though, with very careful and consistent socialisation and a lot of finesse, they can have a chance to exist with small animals as long as you are still mindful to keep an eye on them. Remember, these are extraordinary hunting breeds. They also do do well with other dogs, making either an ideal choice to live with other canines already in the home, or you would be somewhat confident in being able to bring a new puppy into the home once your German Shorthair Pointer or Vizsla is fully grown. Now, when it comes to trainability, both of these breeds live to please, and we are going to need to get really into the granular details to set them apart as they are very similar. They both learn quickly and easily, but the German Shorthair Pointer might just take a little more persuasion. They are a smart breed and again can be a little bit more independent than the Vizsla, so you might have to work a little harder to engage them. The German Shorthair Pointer is a better candidate for an equally balanced approach in training. The Vizsla needs a training regime that more heavily leans on positive reinforcement given those overly sensitive nature, so you have to be very careful with implementing any kind of corrective based approaches. So then, I hope you enjoyed that quick breakdown of these two fascinating and glorious looking hunting breeds. I hope there was a few little differences that you were able to pick out, but rest assured, if you were thinking that they're very similar, you were right. So it's not the end of the world to maybe choose simply based on which one you prefer the looks of, or maybe which one that your heart is leaning towards, as your head is going to be very difficult to choose between them. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, notification bell as we've got two dedicated German short hair pointer videos coming to this channel every single week and I cannot wait to speak to you again on the next episode of the Femre German short hair pointer show.